So today I'm going to go through the use of your flight dental delivery unit and dental chair. Uh, first off, the touchpad control here is the same one you have on your doctor side as well as your assistant side. You have your light control here at the top, which is this light symbol, so turning it on and off. You have a cup fill and bowl rinse that you can set for time cup fill and bowl rinse to the set amount that you want. This is only if you have a cuspider option on your chair. These are your manual movements on the chair. So you have your base up, base down, backrest down, backrest up. The heat button on the chair is typically not available for chairs sold in Canada or the USA. It's for a water heater, uh, for a heated syringe or heated water. Um, on the right side of your touchpad here, you have your R, which is your return or zero position. So this is preset. This is a default position. It'll bring you to the exit or entry position. The one and two are programmable positions that you can set. The one and two you can set by moving the chair manually, for example, to the position that you want. And then you press and hold the one or the two. And to know that it's set the position that you want, you will hear a double beep coming from the chair. So I'm gonna press and hold it here now, and you'll hear this double beep. And that's when you know that the chair has been set for your position one. You would do the same for position two as well. Um, the LP is your last position, or we call the cuspider position. So what it does is it brings the backrest all the way back up to your upright position. And then when you push it again, it'll recline it to your uh, previous position on there. So for the controls on your your delivery unit, uh, you'll see there's a series of controls along the side here. So this control is your master on off switch. So I recommend this be turned off at the end of each day. And when you turn it on by flipping it up, it will pressurize the air and the water for your entire chair. So it give you supply for your hand pieces and your syringes. These controls are for your water controls. So hand piece one, hand piece two, and hand piece three, uh, they all line up for your water controls. So you have individual water controls. The last button here is for your coolant air. And what that is for is to control the amount of air that comes through for your mixing with the air in the water for your spray, uh, for the misting on your dental handpiece. Uh, I'm going to open up the delivery unit tray here to show so this is more for the technician to do when they're setting up their new chair is as you'll see on here you'll see there are controls for your handpiece air pressure handpiece one handpiece two and handpiece three and it controls the amount of air pressure going to your hand pieces and these are the flow control valves that you were seeing underneath that you were controlling each hand piece with um, another little thing that you should be aware of is on the back side of that cover, you'll see there are instructions for how to program the soft limits on your chairs if you need to do that. So that will basically set the highest and lowest position on your chair. And there's also instructions on how to set your position one and position two for your chair. Um, to set the uh, cup fill and bowl rinse, there's an there's another video that's for that, and so I will not go through that here today. Uh, but for that, you'll see also, last thing on here is a control for your water flush. So when you push this down, the water will come out of your hand pieces. So all you do is simply remove all your hand pieces or the ones that have water, and you'll put it into a bucket or into a sink. And when you press this button, it's a momentary button, so we'll flush the water out of your handpiece tubing, uh, either from your water bottle or simply from your city water, whichever you have it hooked up to. Uh, typically, we recommend that it, you flush your lines regularly according to the procedures in your specific area, uh, as well as using water line cleaner uh, to disinfect the water lines regularly. On your foot pedal or your rheostat, uh, you have control for your water, a uh, little lever for your water. The blue button or the blue label there is water on to the other side is water off. This main switch is for your dry air on your handpiece. And this is your chip air on your handpiece as well. So that just simply blows air out without turning the turbine on your high speed or low speed. So if you have a water bottle system on your flight chair, you'll see that you have several 
controls on the front of your uh, water bottle, on top of your water bottle. So one of them is for your water bottle pressure. So it's using pressure to supply the water to your dental unit. So you have to make sure that is turned on when you are using your water bottle. The other thing is there is a switch that allows you to switch between city water and bottled water. So bottled water is when it's pulled up and city water is on when it's pushed down. So it's just a switch that allows you to pull up and down to control if you want to use city water or bottled water. On the rear of the chair, you have a lever that allows you to rotate the chair um, 30 degrees to the left and the right. So you just release it, uh, turning it to the right side. And then you can rotate the chair 30 degrees to the left and 30 degrees to the right. And then to lock it back into place, you're going to change, move the lever to the left side and it will lock it in place.